Hello, in this tutorial, we are going to cover how to change attendance in mass for a group of students. And in this example, we are going to select all of the students in our building and in their attendance, we're going to change all of the default blank presence to an attendance code of P for present. And I am in a test server, so any data you see here is not real. Um, on your PowerSchool server, you just want to make sure that you have a building selected and that you're not in the district office. Okay, so the first step is to select our students. So I'm gonna go ahead and select all my students. And then when I have my selection of students, I can click the group functions menu arrow down here. And you wanna go to attendance change under attendance. Okay, and just a word of caution on this page is you just wanna be really careful and, and make sure you have the correct settings here. Um, if you do have anything set, um, set up wrong in here, it is possible to overwrite um, attendance that you didn't intend to overwrite. Okay, so in this example, we're gonna be changing attendance from the first day of school up until today. And so you wanna put in the first day of school as the beginning date and to today's date. So for meetings to scan, you're just telling the system which periods you wanna scan for this attendance in and, and change. Um, and so I'm gonna be selecting all of my periods. Okay, and then under codes to scan for, um, this is the code that you want to replace. And so in our case, we're gonna choose this blank present, which is the present at the top. You almost never wanna choose all for this option, because then you're gonna be replacing all of your attendance codes, and you don't wanna do that. So always choose these codes and then select the code or codes you want to replace. Okay, for attendance code to set, that's the code that we wanna replace it with. So in our case, we're going to choose P, P present, okay? And then this setting here is important as well. It says if it's anything other than the default present, should we overwrite or don't overwrite? And since we only want to overwrite those default presents, um, we're going to say if it's anything other than that, and then we don't want to overwrite it. So that just ensures um, we're not overwriting any other codes. Okay, so there is an option to put a comment here if you want to do that. I'm not going to do that here. Um, but again, just double check your settings. Make sure you have the right date range. Make sure you're scanning for the right code and that the code you want to set is, is the one that you intend. Again, just to make sure that we're not overwriting anything that we don't intend to. Okay, so when you're ready, go ahead and hit submit. And this process can take quite a while depending on how many students you have in your building, how many classes they have, um, and that's more attendance records. So if it loads for a while, just be patient and don't navigate away from the page. Okay, and if the process was successful, you'll get this screen here. And the, you may want to go to a student and just double check that that the change was made. I'm going to select this student here and I'm going to go to the attendance page and you can see for the date range that I put in um, all of the blank presents were were changed to a P. Now you'll notice here this one has blanks and that is because that course is at a different building um, but for the courses that are in your building that you just that you're in um, you should see no blanks for for the date range you entered and notice that the other codes that were in there were retained. So it only replaced the blanks. Okay, so that's the end of the process. If you have any questions or run into any issues with this and you are um, with the Kent ISD or uh, Kent ISD hosted district, you can always submit a, tick a help desk ticket by emailing helpdesk at kentisd.org. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.